Welcome back to another episode of Wild World Adventures. This time we will show you our three best free camp spots close to Broome. So if you ever travelled around this neck of the woods or just want to see what camping is like up here, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. All three spots are accessible from Minari Road, which is only a few kilometres outside of town, and the turn-off is signposted on Cape Levig Road. The area can be inhabited for saltwater crocs, so be crocwise, guys. Minari Road is all dirt and can get pretty rough at times, so let your tyres down and take it easy. As always guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more adventure videos coming up soon. Bard Creek is a popular camping and fishing spot just 30 minutes drive from Broome. The best way to get here is via Minari Road, but you can also drive along the beach from Willie Creek, only a few kilometres further south. The sand spit is by far the most popular spot for camping here, but there are plenty more or less crowded options further south behind the dunes or along the beach. Just make sure you check the tides before setting up anywhere close to the water. There are also some really nice private campsites at the back of the creek. We prefer this spot just north of the entrance with its stunning coastline and turquoise waters. Now check out this beautiful coastline here. There is no one around for miles. We're at the only camp here and it is a weekend. So it is a good spot when you're coming to Bard Creek. You know, most people will go to the sand spit a bit further just because, you know, you're on the beach straight away or you're camping on the beach. Whereas up here, you're not really camping on the beach. You're camping on top of these rocks here. Um, and it is a bit harder to get down to the beach. But, you know, at the moment, there's a lot of mozzies around in the, in the creek. So we visited some friends last night who actually stayed on the sand spit at the creek. And there was just mosquitoes everywhere. It was just unreal. Um, we did have a few here as well, but because we got the ocean breeze coming through, uh, we didn't get as many. So yeah, this is uh, Bart Creek. One of my top three spots to uh, free camp around Broome. Now up there you see the end of the beach and past that it's all rocks and the little landmass that comes out that protects the creek and it's called Bard Creek uh, and that way here that tip over there is Kwandong. Time to get some firewood. Better to do it with the little chainsaw. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs>
that's Bart Creek at a low tide. All the water runs out of it. Only little patches remain, and that's where we're going to go now to see if we can get some uh, some more bait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go! <laughs> <laughs> My shoe's broken! Oh no! <laughs> Harry! There's dinner sorted, or lunch maybe. There you go! <laughs> A massive shark! Right on the shoreline, literally as I was about to go swimming. He's just hanging around here. Have a look. I don't know if you can see this. Here he is. That's a almost two meter shark. He's off now, but he was just cruising along this the beach here. This is Quan Dong, named after a wild desert fruit, sometimes also referred to as wild peach. This place offers free camping spaces located right above the beach and each campsite is at least 100 meters from the next. Some spots offer shade but mostly the cool breezes from the oceans are enough along with the fantastic views of the beach. So this is Quan Dong, there's a few people set up here already. Uh, we're on one of the little coves here. Here, we're just gonna check it out first, probably unhook the camper, drive around, find a good spot before we finally set up. So come around here and I'll show you the point. That's Kwandong Point. And it actually reaches from all the way over there. And then, and then there's a couple of more bay areas to the right here. So we decided to leave the camper trailer here uh, and then go for a cruise around, see if we find any other spots. There's a lot of washed out areas because we had some heavy rains coming through there in the wet, so a lot of the roads been washed away from what I can see. So it's safer to just leave the camper trailer here. It's a lot easier to drive with just a vehicle than the, the big camper trailer in the back. My job to do this. I'm a camera trailer, professional. Uh, strings in it. Okay. 
yeah, make sure the sand not get through the plug. No way, got trouble. <laughs> Guangdong is approximately 50 kilometers from Broome and some of these areas can be accessed even with a two-wheel drive although we would not recommend it as the roads in can get really rough. We found a nice little spot just at the point here but there are plenty of other spots along the beach with access to larger rigs and caravans. So we're finally set up here, got everything ready, got everything out, kitchen is ready, had a few beers, sussed out the area, and this is an epic spot. I mean we got really lucky here, uh, it is a bit sticky, I must say it's uh, been raining the last couple of days so yeah obviously it's a bit humid but um, how good is this? There's literally, there's only two camps three camps that we saw here little tent camped up a couple of hundred meters up the rocks here uh, there's a couple of grey nomads parked down there another on the beach the yeah there's another one out the back it's only the start of the dry season so you see everything is really green um, and and really really people would come here at the moment because it's still a bit hit and miss with the rain we had rain like I said two days ago or whatever so the roads were still a bit wet but nevertheless, it's a long weekend here in uh, Western Australia, so we decided to, you know, to come here and suss it out, be one of the first. There's hardly any tracks here so far, so we've got this primo spot in a couple of months' time. This will all be chock a block, unfortunately. I can really recommend Quan Dong. coming trip got sunburn on my face <laughs> or the black spot around <laughs> Tides is about nine meters, just under. The 
moment we are coming on to neap tides so I think tomorrow it's going to be a little bit less than today Today we are at Jam Price Point and we crashed our camper. We not only broke our front of the camper, we also massively damaged our canopy from the Hilux for the second time. <laughs> How it happened? Just taking a turn off right and the way the angle of the canopy and the camper trailer, the angle, it just didn't work out with this bloody gas bottle that I got on the back of the canopy. When I first travelled up to the Kimberleys on the first night, I've had that problem with that gas bottle in the back and it actually cracked a lot of the joints of the canopy already what happened was the gas bottle sits on the back of the canopy and we we're taking a steep turn and this thing actually came up hit the gas bottle and just ripped this whole thing out ripped it all out bent the whole front both sides moved it all over shifted it all over to one side that bloody gas bottle here and the only reason I have that gas bottle there is so when we're not hooked up to the camper trailer and we want it to go on like day trips or overnight trips just with the swags, we have gas. I don't like to keep gas inside the canopy for obvious safety reasons, so I mounted it outside. The roof rack wasn't really an option because of the boat, so this was really the only place I could put it. You can see it ripped all the way, even on the top, it ripped it all apart, which means this canopy, there is no way this canopy will make the Gibb River. I don't even think I can fix that anymore. It's a write-off. Anyway, that over there is James Price Point. We didn't stop there tonight because it was absolutely chockers. It is high season up here in Broome now, so there's lots of people coming up there for camping. So we found this little little spot here. It's not bad. It's away from everyone else, which I prefer. There is a uh, a little track that takes takes you down to the beach. There are some really cool sites on Gems Price Point, but you have to be able to drive on the beach to get there. And there's big tides at the moment, so it's a bit risky to drive the camper trailer in the sand when we're only one vehicle. We're gonna set up, have some breakfast. Get the boat out, we're gonna do some fishing today. Um, and then hopefully catch the fish and cook it up tonight. See how we go. here on a little bommy and this is a sick spot the sander is full of fish and we're about just under two kilometers offshore sure there and uh, that's that's James Price Point and we're gonna go see if we can catch some fish out here it looks pretty epic on the sander so wish me luck on that one A 
I did catch some good fish. Unfortunately, my my battery died on the on the camera, so I couldn't actually film it. It's a bit of a shame because it's one of the few times I actually did catch some good fish. Days comes comes to an end. We're gonna hang out a little bit, cook up our fish, enjoy the sunset, and enjoy James Price Point. Mm -hmm.